What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video Hope you guys are having a fantastic day sitting inside your rooms because I know I am I never thought the government would endorse me being lazy, but here we are and uh, if you are having a great day Then be sure to press the like button. Otherwise no joke. No scam You will run out of SpaghettiOs in day six of the 30-day lockdown. Yeah, that's right You little kid you thought it was fun having to survive on nothing but SpaghettiOs just wait till you you have to resort to eating cat food because you didn't press the like button. It's really simple. Pressing the like button makes you better in the long run. Real talk though guys, what's going on? It's been an eventful week, an eventful uh, little space of time, and the event of the last month, my channel has somehow died a little bit more. We've put the entire world on lockdown, but the thing that hasn't changed is that people really hate entitled kids being jerks, and uh, I have a story today about a kid that definitely, definitely does Deserved everything that came to him. I've said it a couple times now I went to a private school where some kids parents definitely had some bands I did go to a school with a couple of like famous people's kids I'm not gonna name names or anything because I just don't do that on this channel But there were some people in my school that had a ton of money and you know I grew up pretty normal like my parents definitely aren't sending money to the Caymans every month or at all I think the only money my parents have ever sent to the Caymans is when we were on a cruise one time But like other than that that, you know, I lived a pretty normal childhood. But a lot of these kids had grown up around nothing but Gucci belts and like Louis Vuitton rattles. When they were a baby, their parents refused to use throwawayable diapers because that was a poor person thing and had liquid gold cast into their body every time they soiled themselves. And I learned from a pretty young age that certain people are just gonna flex stuff because they're deeply insecure. And something else that I learned at a young age is kids flexing is one of the lamest things ever because nine times out of ten, it's just is definitely not your money. Like, when you're in middle school, there is literally no way that you bought yourself a new iPhone. Mommy and Daddy definitely did it for you. And at least in middle school, you could be like, oh, they're immature and dumb. But by the time you're in high school, you should basically know that flexing what Mommy and Daddy get in their bank account every month definitely does not make you look cool. It makes you look like you belong on a certain canoe made out of a feminine hygiene product, a douche canoe. And on the douche canoe, there was a bunch of people at my school school, this hypothetical douche canoe full of people that flex their parents' money. There was tons of people that did this, like, the specific kid that the story is about was not the only person that would flex their parents' money way too much, but even in a school full of people doing it, this kid was known for being extremely obnoxious about the fact that his dad was some, like, crazy successful lawyer with a ton of money. He was constantly posting stuff on Snapchat, like, him holding a bunch of money and would make the caption, sorry I don't speak poor people, or like, ugh, poor people are so disgusting. I'll never forget one time he posted on Snapchat a picture of a homeless dude on the side of the road with, uh, must suck to be so untalented. Like, was just really not a nice guy constantly flexing his wealth. And I get it, man. Aha, uh -huh, screw poor people because my dad is rich. But I really don't understand flexing on Snapchat because the only people that you have added on Snapchat are people that you know and when you go to a school full of rich kids, being rich is no longer that dope. Like, it's just another trait of any kid. Like, having I don't know, eyes or arms. So if you don't have eyes and arms, that's when I guess you would be considered abnormal in this situation. Some kid out there is like, dang, I guess I really will just never be normal in Ryan's eyes. Real talk, this kid was always a giant douche about the fact that his parents had money. He would make fun of homeless people. He would belittle other people. I'm not even kidding you. He would walk around the hallways and call people by their parents' salaries. He would find out what job your parents did. Usually he would like ask or during a career day thing or whatever, he would find out. And then he would go Google what their average salary was and would walk around and like call people by their parents' salaries, which might be the douchiest thing ever. It's right up there with wearing a polo shirt with the collar popped, constantly calling everybody dog despite your obviously suburban origins, and most importantly, listening to nothing but Macklemore and Russ. So King Douchebag continues his tirade of just being an unlikable person. So I've set the scene for why this kid low-key deserved what came to him. I don't want you guys to think that I'm just a fan of somebody getting, like, roasted in front of the school for no reason. Yeah, this poor kid started crying in front of everyone and I said, what are you, Timmy, you little bitch? Wipe your tears off 
off and get back out there and go again. Nobody's gonna take care of you, Tim. Like, nah, I don't like stuff like that, but every now and then somebody gets their comeuppance, and that's the greatest thing of all. So this kid is obviously a giant rich douche canoe, and uh, we got a new girl at school, and we would get new kids, like, relatively often, because whenever anyone would come to town, they would put their kid at our school. I don't know why. We were just, like, one of those schools that would get a lot of new kids. So this new girl comes to town, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, on a scale of 1 to 10, she was a solid 10. She still is. I follow her on Instagram to this day, and I can firmly say that uh, she is, in fact, a cutie pie. Whatever, this new girl comes to class, and douche canoe Mr. Richie the Kid instantly is like, oh, she's super hot, she's mine. And he claims that she is his in the middle of class where she can hear him in front of all these other dudes. He's like, if any of you guys try to date her, you can't, she's mine. Oh my god, I'm gonna wow her like aha. Uh -huh, she's gonna be my girl and this is right in front of this new girl Well, not in front of her like a couple desks behind her But definitely loud enough where she can hear it and she turns around and looks at like this douchey rich kid Who's wearing way too much cologne and definitely thinks he is uh, got the I'm the sexiest man in the world appeal when it really is more of a I look like I played too much League of Legends appeal So she looks back at him and he's like, oh, hey, baby, what you looking at? And she's like, oh, you're calling me me, but I would never date anyone that looks as gross as you. And he immediately gets all defensive, which is what every dude with like a super big ego does. Because most of the time, people who go out of their way to be super cocky and flex on you are super insecure. So whenever anybody makes fun of them, they low key have a panic attack. So when he gets called out and everybody starts laughing at him, he decides that the only logical response is to insult the girl he was just flirting with. So he's like, oh, I claimed you just to make you feel better. None of these other dudes dudes were interested anyways, and uh, I don't know why, but watching people get their comeuppance is my favorite, so I raise my hand, because I haven't said anything so far, and I'm like, I'm interested, and uh, the girl smiled at me, she's like, oh, okay, see, somebody was before you claimed me, I'm not a piece of meat to claim, which I mean, hey, good for you, tell them off, stand up for yourself, yell at the spoiled kid being spoiled, and at this point, he thinks that he's, like, offended her, he thinks that he's just misspoke, obviously, he's pressed, because everybody's laughed at him, but he still thinks there's a way to save this and, like, look better than anyone. So he looks at me and says, shut up, and says what my dad's salary is for his job, uh, which was supposed to convey, like, an insult, as if, you know, I was supposed to, like, start crying that my dad has a certain amount of money he gets paid for his job. <laughs> no! N not my dad's pay stubs, dude! Stop! Stop! But whatever, he calls me, like, by, by my number, and so I just, like, laugh at it. And then he looks back at her and is like, you don't know how it works around here, and starts bragging about how rich his dad is, and how he has, like, a Ferrari, and his house is huge, and he's, like, probably the richest kid in the school, so he understands that he offended her, and he didn't mean to, like, offend her by saying that she was his, and that no one else could hit on her. Like, he doesn't own her, he knows that women have rights. I love how that he had to clarify that, too. He's talking to a girl, he's like, yeah, I do know women can vote, by the way. So he's laying on the talk by trying to tell her that, no, no, it's okay okay that I was a douchebag because my dad's rich, which, uh, surprisingly does not go over very well with the girl with the brain. I just don't understand what a lot of these dudes are thinking, too. Like, girls don't like dudes with the personality of, like, Versace cologne. They just don't. I'm sorry. I mean, don't get me wrong. You'll eventually settle with somebody that's gonna use you for all your money and pretend that they love you and low-key have, uh, kids with your boss. But, but, if you continue to just be a giant jerk, that's kind of what you get. That's the trade-off. People that are jerks marry people that are jerks, and people that are nice marry people that are nice. It's just the setup for the rules. And the girl, very, very slickly, almost with a flick of the hair to dismiss all annoyance that has been in her face now, is like, I don't really care how much money you make, sorry, I'm not that shallow. And the kid is like flabbergasted at the fact that this girl is not impressed by the fact that her, or his dad has money. And he starts telling her that like, oh, obviously she wasn't his type then because she's a moron and how he thinks that, like, girls like her are really idiotic to turn down guys like him because he could take care of them, which is always the move. If you want a girl to like you, start insulting them after they reject you. It definitely doesn't make you look desperate or, you know, like, you have no idea how to interact with women. None of that. And so, at this point, the girl looks pretty fed up 
but I'm not gonna lie, being the new kid is scary enough, but coming in and roasting some dude definitely takes some cojones the size of Philip Rivers. So she looks at him as he's insulting her, saying that she's a moron and is like, no, what's idiotic is claiming a girl that has never spoken to you at all and doing loud enough so she can hear you. Maybe if you want girls to talk to you, maybe you should stop treating them like you own them and start treating them like they have feelings. And the entire class is like, oh, because everybody just hated this dude. And just when we think it can't get worse, and she's like, oh, and one more thing, nobody cares if you have money, because I bet you your dad is disappointed in you and wouldn't leave it to you anyways. And at this point, it's not like a super great insult, don't get me wrong, it's pretty mean, it doesn't sound that great in retrospect, like it's not the greatest roast ever spoken into existence, don't get it twisted. But you gotta understand, for a kid that did nothing but talk about how much he hated poor people, watching him get basically fisted in front of the class was pretty entertaining. So homeboy is now grabbing his hand like that one Arthur meme from a year ago where he just looks like he's about to let loose on everybody and he's all embarrassed and he's all hot in the face and he's like well whatever at least at the end of the day like I still have money like you might not like me but I still win at the end of the day because I get to go home in a Rolls Royce which I mean kind of fair enough low key like in retrospect he kind of has a point we can hate him all he wants but he still gets to go home to the mansion but after that the post making fun of poor people on Snapchat stopped. He definitely stopped thinking that he owned the place and he stopped dressing like, I don't know, you know when old people's houses are decorated and it's just really gaudy and tacky and just not vibing? Yeah, that's kind of what he would dress like. So after that, he switched it up a little bit and overall became a nice person because every now and then your bully just needs to get roasted in front of everybody and dramatically embarrassed for them to uh, have a life-changing experience. But on that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to press the like button. Turn on notifications if you're new. If you turn them on, send a screenshot to my Instagram at Scrubby for a shout out. I do one every day. Today's notification shout out goes to Madison Collins. Big thank you for having on notifications. I sure do really appreciate it. Hope you guys are being safe out there. If you're bored and need something to do, join the Discord server down below. And uh, yeah, on that note, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. I do hope you guys are are safe and if any of you guys uh have any crazy stories you can send them into my instagram at scrubby my twitter at scrubby vivo i pick stories every now and then and do subscriber stories so uh yeah on that note i'm out peace